Hello everyone! Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 149 part 4 and this is the go home show before next week's journey to gold event. So if you guys have missed any action in the previous three parts then do be sure to head on over and give them a watch. As you can see, we are kicking off our final part of the show with our first of two last chance Journey to Gold qualifying matches. And of course, it is involving the superstars that weren't able to qualify first time around. And our participants look like this. Scott Robertson, Victor Wolf representing the Wolverines, Davey Roche, representing the Nexus Nation, K9 representing the Broken Psychos, and Ian Berg. Who's gonna get that final spot? Let's find out. Now if you guys do enjoy this one, then do be sure to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments down below, and do make sure to subscribe to the channel. The following contest is a fatal five-way match. Making his way to the ring from Rochester, New York. Weighing in at 198 pounds, Dave. Take a look at the talent in About to enter the ring first. Exactly representing the Nexus Nation, Davey Roche. Davey Roche's previous qualifying match, he fell short to Jim Boy, who was actually the first one to qualify. Davey Roche looking to make this particular opportunity count. And a little bit earlier on tonight, we saw Davey's tag team partner, Nash Okura, the current YouTube champion. Get a massive non-title champion v champion victory over the current hardcore champion, Mike Gaming. And of course, as we know, the Nexus Nation, Davey Roche, Nash O'Kor have had tag team success, winning tag team gold. Nash now with the current YouTube champion, Davey Roche looking for his breakout moment. From London, England, weighing in at 252 pounds, Victor Wolf. Making his way down to the ring next, representing the Wolverines, Victor Wolf. Victor Wolf came short in his qualifier, came up short against the Dark Dominator, Jack Styles. 
We're currently uh, at the moment Victor's sister Victoria is in the women's junior to gold ladder match I'm sure Victor Wolf will do everything in his power to get into the men's ladder match himself Because if he qualifies and he and Victoria win those James Gold briefcases, they'll become the second brother sister to win the Journey to Gold ladder match in the same night. But he's got to qualify that for this one first. That's been a good night for the Wolverines. A non-title victory for David Joe Wolf earlier on. Victoria Wolf in a makeshift. In a makeshift tag team match with Kissable Demon, getting a big tag team victory. Can Victor Wolf make it a clean sweep for the Wolverines? Making his way down to the ring, representing the Broken Psychos, K9. And K9 initially lost his qualifier to Lucas Hackett. Very talented young man, the cousin of the current global champion Jesse. Fire. And from Aberdeen, Scotland, weighing in at 249 pounds, Scott Robertson. I'm making his way down to the ring next. Scott Robertson. And Scott Robertson would probably feel... He was very unlucky against David Labby in his qualifying match before. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. Imagine Scott Robertson in the Journey to Gold ladder match. He's a former hardcore champion and I'm sure he'll make perfect use of those ladders as a weapon. And finally, making his way down to the ring, Ian Berg. Of course, Ian Berg didn't have the greatest comeback that he wished, falling short to Nathan Sanders in his previous attempt to qualify. He referred back to managerial duties on last week's show with his, with his all-female version of the NWO. Just coming up short against the current tag team champions, game in control. But Ian Berg back in action tonight. Anyway, just double check the eliminations are on which they are. And here we go, this last chance match is underway. Remember the last man standing of this matchup will fill the last spot in the men's journey to gold ladder match and look at this power from Ian Berg on Davy Roche mm. 
Look at Ian Burb going K9 and Scott Robertson double teaming on Victor Wolf. And Ian Burb picking apart Davy Roche. Oh, look at this float over DDT from Roche. Net breaker from Robertson to Davey and K9 talking smack to Victor Wolf. That could be hazardous for your health. The lock up here. Scott Robertson intervening. Oh, Davey Roche is back on Ianberg. Oh, look out. Ianberg in trouble here. Power bomb. Lock up from Roche and Ianberg. Nice counter. Now K9 has Victor in the side headlock. Oh, look at that high angle back suplex from Ianberg. Right hand from Victor Wolf and beautiful amateur takedown to K9. Look at this power from Ianberg on Davey and a running bulldog from Victor. Single leg DDT. And we're down to a one-on-one -on -one situation at the moment. We've got Ian Berg and Victor Wolf in, I do believe, a first time encounter. Ian Berg looking to eliminate Victor Wolf here. Gets a two count. Looking to take out Robertson. Robertson was having none of it. Victor Wolf with a chop block. Nice net breaker there, and Ian Berg with a pile driver to Robertson. Every man for himself. And K9 looking to eliminate Robertson. Near fall. Victor rolls to the outside. And e oh my goodness, what a close on from Ian Berg. Turned Roche inside out, and there goes K9 crashing to the outside. And look at this here. Amberg bending the hand back on Roche, double knees. Of course, we didn't see what happened with Robertson and K9. I know Robertson went to the top row, but we didn't see what happened of it. Amberg off the ropes. And what a unique maneuver there, that springboard. You've got two wolves fighting here. The, the wolf man, as Ian Berg has known. And, of course, Victor Wolf. This is an interesting matchup, that is for sure. Side rushing leg sweep. K9 and Robertson by the announce table on the outside. Victor telling Ian Berg to get back to his feet. K9 in a precarious spot on the barricade. Roche back in the ring. Victor Wolf looking to make Ian Berg the first casualty. Not at this stage. And look at Robertson. Oh, and Ian Berg with the spear on Roche. Close over DDT. It's all happening here. It's chaos here. And Ianberg has Victor Wolf up. Jackhammer. Oh, and it's a rope break. Victor's feet underneath the ropes. Turning his attention to Davy Roche. Nice Northern Knight suplex. Ianberg picking up Hart Roche. Robertson and Kane are still causing havoc at ringside. And again, Ian Burke going to the limbs of Roche. Ian Burke with the counter. 
these two probably many consider to be considered many people's favorites Ian Burke and Victor Wolf the code red K9 dead the rights at ringside he's he's been beaten to a pulp by Robertson oh my goodness Ian Berg. Looking to eliminate Victor Wolf here. One count only, and Ianberg can't believe it. And Roche now back to his feet, circling around the ring. Roche back in. And a kick to the back of the head of Ianberg. And a very figure four. Working on the, on the legs, and there goes Robertson into the steel steps. Oh, I'm looking for the exploder suplex, and Victor Wolf with the counter. Hooks the leg, and Davey kicks out at one. The springboard stunner to Victor Wolf. And Ian Berg turning his attention to Davy Roche after Victor Wolf crashes to the outside. Jackhammer! And is that the end of Davy Roche's dream? It is! And Ian Berg eliminates Davy Roche. We're down the four. We're down to Ian Berg, Scott Robertson, K9, and Victor Wolf. Oh, electric chair slam. And K9 turning his attention to Ian Berg. And now Robertson with a power slam on the outside. Fisherman suplex there from K9. Leg drop from Victor Wolf. And this complete chaos. The remaining four superstars on the outside. K9 only just now returning to the middle of the ring. And Robertson a shot to the midsection. Victor and Ian Berg on the outside. And Kane on gets thrown to the outside. You've got to be kidding me. And there's a spear from Ianberg. This is absolutely insane. The lock up. Ianberg lining up. Lining up uh, Kane on for the finish. But Victor Wolf wrestles Ianberg down. And look out. And Robertson with a sit down last ride. And he lets him out the victorious crossface. Looking to eliminate Ianberg this way. And Ianberg kicks out at two. Insane. And oh, wait a second, Robertson looking to eliminate K9. And K9 is eliminated. We are down to three. And there's not one. Not two. But three Scottish curse backbreakers to Ian Berg. And Robertson maybe looking to finish off Ian Berg once and for all. No. Counter. Oh look, oh look at this, oh you've got to be kidding me! And the words of my dear friend Mr. Woos, holy crud! That was absolutely insane. Right hands from Ianberg to Robertson. 
final three. Which one of these three men will be added to the men's journey to gold ladder match? Oh, Ian Berg. A single leg DDT. And Victor telling Ian Berg to bring it. Driving the knees. But Victor able to counter. Face buster. Oh, and Scott Robertson able to transition. Reverse the the back suplex into a crossbody. And oh, Ian Berg barely kicks out at two. And Robertson cannot believe it. And there's a spear to Victor Wolf. And he wants to put Victor away. Once and for all, but Scott Robertson thwarts those plans. A counter to Robertson. Robertson counters. Ian Berg counters. Ian Berg, the only thing he's not done at BUW is enter the Journey to Gold ladder match. And look out! Powerbomb to the outside, Robertson. He could well be finished. Ian Berg in complete control. Ian Berg showing his power again. Robertson counters. Waist lock. STO takedown. Working on the arm of Ian Berg. Now the chest being caved in. The only two eliminations so far that we've seen. Davy Roche and K9, the first two men out of this match. Delivering a broken arrow does Robertson. Lock up. And a sit down. Spine buster. Sky high if you would. Victor Wolf. Shin breaker into a back suplex. Could Victor Wolf want Ian Berg all to himself? Robertson with a counter, knee to the face. But Ian Berg back up. Ian Berg trying to send Victor back in the ring, but no dice. Back it. Now the waist lock. Ian Berg into the still steps. Ian Berg backing off. Sky high. Robertson gets countered. Ian Berg, those kicks. The hammerlock. Grabs the arm. And bends that wrist back again. And drives the knees into the kidneys of Robertson. Suplex. The German suplex. And then a clothesline. A very DDT. Decision's got to take place in the middle of the ring. But these three are just held bent on destroying one another. A scorpion death drop from Victor Wolf. A German suplex. And there is another clothesline. This is just unbelievable. Ian Burke manipulating the limbs. Drives the knees into the spine and kidney area. Robertson re enters the ring. And Victor Wolf right back in there. Overhead kick. Ian Burke taking out the equation. Vic, uh, Victor Wolf gets a shot to the face. Victor to the outside again. 
I'll tell you one thing, this is definitely fight night. That breaks to Robertson. These men do not want to stay in the ring, that is for sure. Swinging net breaker. Ian Berg slowly coming to. And now Scott and Victor back in the ring. And oh, look out. Looks like Victor Wolf was going to take Scott Robertson to Suplex Kingdom, but Scott did not want to be a part of it. And wait a second here. Ian Berg again finds himself cool in the Scottish curse. Those three bat breakers. Is that it for Ian Berg? No! You've got to be kidding me! Robertson counters. Victor counters. This is insane. Ian Berg with the electric chair. Victor finds a way out. And Ian Berg finds himself in trouble, the broken arrow. Snake eyes to Victor. And Ian Berg could be looking to eliminate his second man in this match. No! Jack Hammer attempt countered. Power bomb into the pin. And Ian Berg's night is over. We're down to Victor Wolf and Scott Robertson. And look at Victor Wolf. Has Robertson with the victorious crossface. He taps and Victor Wolf qualifies for the men's journey to gold ladder match. And here's another look at what made that match so special. Oh, absolutely incredible matchup. Incredible action. When it came down to the final three, it was literally pure carnage. And then you saw what happened to Canine after all that. There's the Wiley Coyote cam. Here is your winner, Victor Wolf. And here is your winner of the match. And advancing to the men's journey to gold ladder match. Representing the Wolverines, Victor Wolf. So could Victor be... The next Mr. Journey to Gold. I guess we'll have to find out. We now know the full field in the men's ladder match. And we're about to find out the full field in the women's ladder match. And of course, because it is that time, once again, ladies and gentlemen. And Mark Henry, as he says on AEW Rampage, well... Looks like there's been enough talk. It's time for the main event. And of course, folks, as we just mentioned, this will be the second of two last chance qualifying matches. And this time it involves the women. So in this one, it will be... Ray, representing the Rage Queens. Kayla... Grand Ioki representing Chaos Pact. Bubbly Zen representing ENWO. And last but not least, Rosina representing the Broken Bloodline. So it's come down to this. Who will be the final woman to fill the, the sixth and final spot? In a women's journey to gold ladder match. And of course, big congrats to Victor Wolf for qualifying for the men's journey to gold ladder match. So it's been a great night for the Wolverines, a clean sweep for them.
The following contest is a fatal five-way match. Making her way to the ring from Cardiff, Wales, Devious K. Johnston. About to enter the ring first. Kayla. And Kayla. In her initial qualifying match, fell to Country Girl. Country Girl was the first woman to qualify for the Women's Journey to Gold Ladder match, but can Kayla capitalize on her second opportunity, just like we just saw moments ago, with Victor Wolf? She's in a fighting mood tonight. From Tokyo, Japan, the great A.O.K. Making her way down to the ring next. Representing Chaos Pact. The, a grand Aoki. Nearly got tongue-tied there. A Michael Clock moment. Grand Aoki. Making her way to the ring, of course, and looking to qualify the second time of asking. She initially lost her qualifying match to her old friend from Chaos Pact, Victoria Wolf. And I say old friend, more like bitter enemies now. Since Chaos Pact turned on Victoria Wolf months ago. Victoria Wolf seems to have had Chaos Pact's number ever since. Grand Aoki, I'm sure will be looking to give Victoria a receipt should she qualify for the Women's Dream to Gold Ladder match. Determination in her eyes, she is more than ready for competition. From California, Bubba Lee. Making her way down to the ring next. Representing the NWO, Bubba Lee Zen. And Bubba Lee Zen look to uh, qualify for the Journey to Gold ladder match two years running. Of course, she fell to Danny at the first time of asking. And she's been so near to glory in the past. Surely it's only a matter of time for that young lady. Making her way down to the ring next, representing the Rage Queens. Right. 
Ray looking to qualify the second time of asking after initially losing to Kissable Demon. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. Our Grand Slam champion here in BUW is Ray. Never been in the Journey to Gold ladder match. And lastly, making her way down to the ring, representing the Broken Bloodline, Rosina. Rosina had a qualifying match last week, but lost to Melissa Diamond. Rosina, along with her sister Evie, have had tremendous success since joining BUW last year. Former women's tag team champions alongside. Rosina looking to go solo and have a breakout moment if she can. And here we go. And just make sure. Eliminations are on. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This main event match is on the way. We've got Kayla and Rosina. I've got Grand Aoki and Bubbly Zen. And Ray trying to come between them. And Ray and Bubbly Zen are actually great friends outside the ring. And actually started the same night. Nice kick there. Bubbly and Ray. Ray in the corner and Kayla choking Rosina out. And Grand Aoki trying to make her size count. Rosina gets taken down. And it could be just as chaotic as the men's match was just moments ago. And Grand Aoki sends Crash into the floor. So it looks a country girl, Victoria Wolf, Danny, Kissable Demon, and Melissa Diamond await the winner of this match. Grand Aoki and Bubbly Zen on the outside in front of the BUW fans. Kayla taking out the equation. And Ray talking smack to Bubbly Zen, I think. I thought she was going to stay in the ring because Rosina was just getting back to her feet. And Rosina biding her time, which is very smart. On oh, Bubbly Zen gets slammed into, into the thin padding on the outside. And there's a chop block from Rosina. Rosina, of course, is, might come out with a, with a different demeanor to what she is in the ring. Do not take that lightly. Bubbly Zen fired up. Lock up. Kayla has Grand Aoki by the throat. Slams her in head first off that Finn Matt on the outside. Grand Aoki bounce not quite into the LED post. Lock up between Rosina and Ray. Kayla, the only one in the ring right now. And Rosina spying first into the barricade. Right hands from Ray. Multiple shots in the midsection. Of course, Rosina would love to follow in her mother's footsteps and win the Journey to Gold ladder match if she can get there. Of course, Wendy won it the first women's Journey to Gold ladder match in 2020. And look at this double team on the outside. Kayla and Rosina on to Ray at double DDT. You will get unlikely alliances in these types of matchups. And look at Kayla laughing after she turned straight away on Rosina. Send her crashing headfirst onto the LED post. 
Be careful who you laugh at, Kayla. That's a member of the broken bloodline you're laughing at. And Kayla back inside, Grand Ioki. Bubbly Zen with some shots to Rosina. There goes Bubbly Zen for, sent over the top by Ray. And Kayla in trouble. Power bomb. Just two ladies in the ring right now. Kayla, Grand Ioki. And well, Kayla gets whipped. Right, spine first into the corner. And Kayla kicks out at two. Very close there, and Ioki had the waist lock momentarily. And Kayla hits the devious DDT. And will this be enough to send Grand Ioki packing? No, it's a rope break. And Bubbly Zen trying to capitalize, but not happening. Kayla taking it to Grand Ioki, trying to rake the face. Irish rip into the corner goes Kayla. Short on clothesline. Ray, thank you, Rosina in the corner in the top left part of your screen. Head first goes Kayla. And there is another short arm clothesline. Grand Aoki looking for the pin. And Bubbly Zen intervening. And Ray. I think did she, did she just flip the bird there? Kayla trying to take out our Grand Ioki. And no, just a two count, and Kayla can't believe it. And Kayla, as we know, has no respect for anyone in that BW ring. And a kick to the back from Bubbly. Middle rope, calling Kayla to her feet. But no, Kayla rolls to the outside. Smart thinking by the former three time tag team champion. Gets inside the ring. Oh, and Bubbly Zen. Stun gun. Bubbly Zen looking to eliminate Grand Ioki. No, no. That was close. Kayla walks right into a right hand there. And Kayla hung out to dry with a stun gun. Grand Ioki whipped into the corner. A kick to the leg. Oh, and Kayla catches Grand, catches Bubbly Zen, I should say, that devious DDT in that nonchalant cover. And Bubbly Zen gets the shoulder up, and Kayla is livid. Hardly anyone kicks out of the Devious DDT. Oh, what a backhand from Grand Ioki to Kayla. And Kayla kicks out at two, and Grand Ioki can't believe it. And Bubbly gets thrown across the ring. Rosina, the Hurricane Runner, to Ray on the outside. No way, no way, the Harlem hangover from Grand Ioki. I don't think she got all of it, but it could be enough to send Kayla packing. It is enough. Kayla has been eliminated, and Kayla will not be taking part in this year's Journey to Gold ladder match. We are down to four. Down to Bubbly Zen. Grand Ioki, Ray, and Rosina. And Rosina just gets spiked there from Grand Ioki. 
There's no love lost between the broken bloodline and Chaos Pact. Waste lock from Rosina. Oh, and Grand Aoki easily able to counter her momentum. Rosina into the announce table and Bubba the Zen with the bubble buster to Ray. And she's not done. Grand Aoki trying to wear down Rosina on the outside. Look at it. Oh no. Oh, she's going to hit that detonation kick. But Ray knows Bubbly all oh, so well. And Bubbly kicks out at one. Grand Aoki back in the match. Or back in the ring, I should say. Gut wrench suplex. The lock up between Ray and Bubbly at the very atomic drop. Kick to the knee. Oh, Bubbly Zen in trouble. Stingray. Knack should do it. And Bubbly has been eliminated and she will not be heading to the Journey to Gold Ladder match this year. We are down to three. Ray, Rosina and Grand Aoki. One of those three women will advance to the Journey to Gold Ladder match, but who's it going to be? Rosina looking to eliminate Ray. And Ray kicks out at two. He's got to do a lot more than that to keep Ray down. Lock up again. Grand, oh, watch out, Rosina behind you there. She saw it coming. Knee lift. And Grand Aoki having the arm pulled out of its socket. And Ray with a Lufaz press. Looking to eliminate Rosina here. And Rosina kicks out at two, and Ray can't believe it. Oh, Grand Aoki pondering to the crowd that could but that could come back to bite her in the rear end. Stingray. Is that the end of Grand Aoki's evening? It is. We're down to Ray. We're down to Rosina. And Rosina looking at a cross on breaker. That's a rope break. But Rosina going for the cover. And Rosina is going to the Journey to Gold ladder match. And could she be following her mother's footsteps and maybe win the damn thing? We'll have to wait and see if that comes true. And here is your winner of the match and advancing to the Women's Journey to Gold ladder match, representing a broken bloodline, Rosina. And Rosina will take part in her first Journey to Gold ladder match. Will she follow in her mother's footsteps? Will she follow Wendy and become the next Miss Journey to Gold ladder match winner we'll have to wait and see what happens there but that folks is gonna do it for this week on buw now if you guys have enjoyed it and do be sure to leave a like for mike on all four parts do be sure to drop a comment or two and most importantly please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well to stay up to date with all things gaming and all things buw but this is it for this week on BUW and next week at the moment currently scheduled will be Journey to Gold which you'll be able to see live here on the channel. So until then guys do take care, have a great weekend whatever you're up to and I'll see you next week for BUW Journey to Gold. Good night everybody.